Rappers are very interesting people. There's so many different types of them. And just like everybody else, they have those things that make them them. Individuality. Some people are known for good. Some people are known for bad. Some people aren't known for either of those things. They're known for being like weird. Well, today we're going to turn these characteristics into abilities. That's right. You know what we're doing? You read the title. You wa you saw the thumbnail. Today we're going to visit the imaginary wonderland where rappers are superheroes and we pick their powers. More specifically, y'all. Yeah, for those not in tune, I made a community post and an Instagram. Instagram post, so you know what I'm saying? Go fuck with me there. Asking y'all to pick a rapper and give them an oddly specific superpower. Wait, so so what what superpowers would um what superpowers would Raw Wave have? Or like Kendrick Lamar, Polo G, like wait, what the fuck? Relating to them. And so the example I used was um Rod Wave can make anybody cry in like a 10 mile radius. Got a decent amount of responses. We about to go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay. So it obviously got to be related to his music. So his superpower is, is making somebody cry. Relating to them. And so the example I used was um, Rod Wave can make. No, bro. Not because he's fat, bro. Anybody crying like a 10 mile radius. Got a decent amount of responses we about to go through. And yeah, bro, it's like a humor me video. Like I gave y'all the keys. But before we get into that, we got a real humor me. Last video I asked y'all, what's the worst thing you could wear to a job interview? Some very good responses. This is not one. I don't even have merch yet. Get off my dick. But the two <laughs> responses was a Josh Giddy jersey to a daycare and then nothing, which is definitely something you shouldn't wear to a daycare. But yeah, that's it, bro. Very funny responses on this one. What's the worst thing you could wear to a job interview <laughs> yo y'all funny yo y'all be having the funniest jokes bro <laughs> go and humor me next question yo please off. bro why y'all always bad. coming for me bro like i'm just trying to be great bro please man but Next question down below, go and humor me, bitch. But yeah, man, we might as well get into this. And you know, take a look at what y'all been cooking. The first rapper we got, a drum roll, please. Bada, 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 NBA young boy. Out of everybody. Okay, so guess, guess, let's guess NBA young boy's superpower. Um, okay, his music is very like, I can't really explain his music though. You know, he be talking his shit in his music. Um, aggressive. Ooh, word, 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 word. Aggressive. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he be real aggressive in his music. Everybody, young boy definitely had the most responses, but it wasn't really the most diverse responses. Pretty much everybody said that he's just gonna turn niggas into menaces. YB turns people into thugs. Young boy make. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Turn him to a thug. Okay, aggressive, for no reason. Niggas aggressive for no reason. Turn up for no reason. Like, like you just wanna worry. You just wanna. You just wanna. Punch somebody in their face for no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I get it now. I get it now. He's a young now. boy shoots people with his sticky slime, bro. What the fuck did I just read? But yeah, the theme of the story, if young boy had superpowers, he'd make a colony of nothing but demons. But since he doesn't have superpowers, his fans gave him the next best thing, a colony of dick riders. Who probably will want nothing else in the world but to get hit by his sticky slime. Speaking of slime, yo, oh, thug, oh. you're up next. And honestly, out of everybody on this list, this is probably my favorite one. Definitely top two. Young thug could take away a person's ability to understand English. Hey, yo. <laughs> Yo, bro. Yo, the ability to. <laughs> Yo, that's actually crazy, bro. Yo, Young Thug can take away a person's ability to understand English, bro. Nah, that's actually funny as hell, bro. It can take away a person's ability to understand English. I just like what I said, just like a boss. I said, just like a boss. Yeah. Sometimes you really don't know what he be saying, though, bro. Like, 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 for example, everybody thought, everybody didn't think he said hustlers don't stop, they keep going. Everybody thought for years, he thought, they thought they, uh, he said, um, horses don't stop, they keep going. <laughs> but when niggas realized he didn't say horses, he met hustlers, bro, bro, that had to be one of the craziest things, bro, because like. The nigga don't be articulating his words, bro. He just be 
<laughs> but Young Thug is a goat, though. You can't take that away, though. Now that I just found that out, are you serious? You know, nigga said, man, hustlers don't stop, Nicky. Uh, nigga, you like me, Nicky. Hold on, hold on. Let me go to the song. Let me go to the song. Let me go to the song. Bro, no way I just found that out, bro. Bro, no way, bro. Check, should I go to the lyrics? Okay, let me not. I think it's this song. Yeah, it gotta be this song. Huh? Why self life? Bro, no way though, bro. We wanna do this, we wanna do money, we wanna do this, we got London on the track. Nigga, he said, man, hustles won't stop, they keep going. You look like when they keep going. Why not risk the like it's gonna keep going? We got somebody else was born, but at least we got the same. We wanna do this. Yo, yo, it took me a while to actually realize what he was saying in the intro of this song, bro. Nigga, hustlers don't stop. They keep going. You could lose your life, but it, but it's going to keep going. Why not Why not risk life when it's going to get gone? When you die, somebody else was born. But at least we go and say. But at least we got to say. We run up the money. We run up the digits. But, like, when you hear it, it don't sound like he... Oh, I, I hear it now, but back then I didn't hear it. I hear it now, but back then I didn't hear it. I forever be horses don't stop in my eyes. Nah, it's hustles don't stop. They keep on. You can live your life, but they keep on. I just like what I said, just like a boss. I said, just like a boss. Yeah, nah, he's doing that without superpowers. <laughs> Imagine with. But I'm gonna take it a step further, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna up it a notch. Young Thug takes away the person's ability to understand any sort of language. Because I know somehow, some way, there's people who fully understand what the fuck he said back there. I've met a few niggas fluent in slime knees. It exists. So yeah. In nah, if you understand what Thug be saying in his music, then yeah. You, you one of those, because that's actually insane. Like, it took niggas years. Like, unless you going back and reading the lyrics, then that's different. But if you just listening to the song and word by word, you nah, bro, you, you got a problem, bro. English just isn't enough. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait a second. What's this? Sexy Red makes everyone illiterate? Nah, that's too perfect. We found our first superhero duo, Young Thug and Sexy Red, a little sibling bond. If ever they join forces against you, just say goodbye. I Wait, Sexy Red illiterate? Word? <laughs> we found our first this? Sexy Red makes everyone illiterate? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, you have to confirm this? Wait, can niggas confirm this? Nah, that's too perfect. We found our first superhero duo, Young Thug and Sexy. Nah, they actually look like crazy. I'm talking about same nose, same head shape, like the structure of their face. Only thing different is they lips. Nah, that's and then they got tattoos on their. Nah, that's actually disgusting. Like, bad disgusting, bro. Look at this. But congrats to Sexy Red though. She she got uh she I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but um she delivered her baby today, you feel me? So word. But this is actually crazy though. <laughs> like this is actually crazy, bro. Sexy Red, a little sibling bond. If ever they join forces against you, just say goodbye. I, actually, you won't be able to say anything at all. If they hit you with that dynamic duo of death move, you will never, never, never ever be able to speak again language will no longer be a part of your vocab along with every other word since we mentioned in duos and partnerships i feel like it's only right to choose this group of people up next there was a specific superpower that you guys gave to a few of these rappers so fuck it i put them in a group the ear bleeders i saw three names that got mentioned with this superpower the first one wabi and amir if I gave you all my love Understandable, understandable But this next person isn't, I'm not gonna lie They said Uzi would make people's ears bleed I got a ridiculous whip 
I got a real oh, ridiculous wrist. I got a real ridiculous bitch. You know, I don't love this album or anything, but ears bleed. Yeah, yeah I'll keep I don't it know in about here that. for the purpose of the video, but nay. And to complete the ears bleed uh, trio, we have no other than masturbating on a scale. For oh yeah, for a hundred percent, a hundred percent. French Montana is going on this list, bro. A hundred percent, bro, because he can't be a real rapper, bro. When I pick songs to clown this nigga over, I swear to God, I look for a different album every time and just click shuffle. So yeah, meet the ear bleeders with an imposter amongst the group. And to be clear, that imposter is not French Montana, which actually brings me to one of my other favorite responses. French Montana makes people think about Rudy Gobert when he raps, along with French Montana making everybody sick because of his trash ass music. Both responses I 100% see, and they kind of go hand in hand. Honestly, probably. Nah, wait. Think about Rudy Gobert is actually crazy. No, that's actually bad. Like, like you gotta be that bad of a rapper for another human being to think about Rudy Gobert? Nah, that's actually insane, bro. People think about Rudy Gobert when he raps, along with French Montana making everybody sick because of his trash-ass music. Both responses I 100% see, and they kind of go hand-in-hand. Hand. Honestly, probably the most realistic superpowers you're going to see. I wouldn't even call these superpowers. This is just like everyday life next up we got polo g superhero name piano g specializes in spawning grand piano which is low-key a very effective power for somebody like him on one side he'll forever very <laughs> that's actually a good superpower for for polo g though bro G. Superhero name Piano G. Specializes in spawning grand piano, which is low key a very effective power for nah, somebody very, like him. On one side, effective. he'll forever be protected. Like, imagine you getting into it with an nigga and then boom! Get hit with a fucking piano. Yeah, that shit would not feel good. And then on the other hand, he might actually drop music. Maybe the reason he hasn't is because he can't find a piano. Shit, I don't know, but it makes perfect. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Why he coming for my dog like that, though? Damn, chill sense for this nigga to be spawning pianos. This next one is probably the one that made me laugh the most. Someone said Kanye can send six million people to an unknown location. Then edited, edited, then edited it? What the fuck? That's a tongue twister. Edited, edited it. But yeah, he changed it to Kanye sending a specific group of people away. It was funny when it was six million random people, but now that it's a specific group of people, that, I ain't gonna lie, that makes it a little funnier. Cause he ain't sending them to an unknown location. <laughs> They're going to a synagogue. It's a joke. God damn, calm down. I'm nah. not the one with the superpower. If it was me and I got to choose the specific group of people, instead of six nah. million, I'm choosing 60,000 and sending all of you guys to a resort. Next. Nah, wait, wait, bro. We can't bypass that, bro. What? They're going to a synagogue. It's a joke. Goddamn. But who? Who is the people, though? Edited it. But yeah, he changed it to Kanye sending a specific group of people away. It was funny when it was six million random people, but now that it's a specific... Nah, it's, it's dead not funny, though, but... Group of people? That, I ain't gonna lie, that makes it a little funnier. Because he ain't sending them to an unknown location. <laughs> They're going to a synagogue. It's a joke. Goddamn, calm Nah, down. that's actually crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> no, that's actually crazy, though, bro. I don't mean to laugh, but that's... Yo, bro, I'm not watch, the one with bro. the superpower. If it was me and I got to choose the specific group of people, instead of six million, I'm choosing sixty thousand and sending all of you guys to a resort. Woohoo! Next, we got Eminem. To my shock, there was actually a lot of Eminem superpower givers, but the superpowers aren't like good. Honestly, it's something you probably would just want to keep to yourself if you had it. Makes children eat poop. Makes any grown man over the age of twenty-eight poop on themselves, and then makes people throw up spaghetti. Which that okay, that one makes sense. Why are you guys associating poop with Eminem? There has Not to be word. an inside joke that I'm just outside on. Is it rumored that Eminem has a poop fetish? <laughs> like, what is this? He makes grown men poop themselves and then gets kids to eat it? Like, what the f***? That can't yeah, even be legal. I think you guys just want Eminem in jail. Meaning, he could use Cardi's superpower. Stops people from dropping anything. Yeah, Eminem, you're gonna need that one if you're behind them bars, kid. But if I was Cardi and I had this power, nigga, I'd be the richest man in the world. Just gonna bet on damn near every football game and make sure nobody drops shit. If Cardi's watching, nigga, is gonna turn into Randy Moss. Way better than what Drake's superpower would turn you to. Zest what? 
Damn, I just want to ask you, what y'all think Drake's superpower is? <laughs> Make people super zesty, bro. Steve, food of the loom, yeah. I don't know how this power would help you in any way. Well, unless that's the type of shit you're into. But uh, the other powers are better. Can make anybody an alter ego. That's tough. Basically, mm. the blue bitch from uh, X Men movies. Cause yeah, bro's either from Toronto, the UK, nigga, Cali. Don't be knowing who he wanna be. And then the last power, every word makes a man uncomfortable somewhere. Imagine just sitting and watching TV and you just like, Man, what the fuck? Damn it, is Drake talking again? Alright, bro, I got like two more, that's it. If you're having a good time, though, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Click the like. Let me know if this is something y'all want to do again. But back at the task at hand, bro, the baby makes people listen to other rappers. Nigga, that shit is happening to <laughs> nah, right it. now, constantly. If the nah, baby starts it. playing, yeah, I'm turning on some other shit. Nah, that got it. Super power to make Yo, me do that. And then funny. another power they said is he turns people into babies. You know, that, pretty lame superpowers, I can't lie. Not like the Young Thug, Sexy Red duo or anything. But hey, I guess it gets the job done. And then last the last rapper, last superpower. We're gonna close out with no other than Travis Scott slash LaFlame. He can set shit on fire by just saying, It's lit! Gas it's lit! Superpower. Very W response. Imagine the last shit you hear before going up in flames. You know what I'm saying? You're burning like shit. It's lit, it's lit, it's lit. Like he just spamming it, bro. It's lit, it's lit, it's lit. Make niggas feel like they're in hell before they even have a chance to get there. Hey, yeah, man, that's, that's <laughs> it, bro. That's all w I got video. for y'all. I'm out. If you didn't get a chance to give a little response, bro, you'll have one next time. Just follow me on Instagram or turn on post notes. Here. I want to see what all y'all got cooking up there in your noodle. Chat, what's what's my what's my superpower? No, girl already said his for me. You feel me? Invisibility, I guess. Um, DJ believes to make anyone popping or fall in love with the glimpse of inconsistency. Um, okay. Nah, Thug and Polo got it now nah, for a fact. For a fact. For a fact. Nah, and the baby, and the baby got it too. The baby got it too. <laughs> the baby got it too. The ability to to make you listen to another rapper is actually crazy, bro. Like as soon as you hear the baby, you turn it off. Like nah, let me listen to somebody else, man. W video though. Who is this, Trey? Shout out to Trey.